Hi everyone, welcome to Five Facts with Danny. That's me, I'm Danny, and this is Ruthie. And Ruthie is joining me today because a couple of nights ago, Ruthie made a really cool discovery right here in our backyard. It was right in this corner over here. I went over to see what she was so excited about and we found a Virginia opossum. Now, when I went over to investigate this opossum, it looked completely dead. It's laying on its side, tongue out, didn't appear to be breathing. But of course, as you probably know, that's one of their main defense mechanisms, right? Is that they play dead, but it just looked so real. So I was really curious to learn more about this and learn what was going on with this opossum that we had right here in our backyard. And so today I've done some research and I'd like to share with you five facts about the Virginia opossum. Spoiler alert, no opossums were harmed in my backyard for the making of this video. Here we go. Fact number one, the Virginia opossum is the only marsupial found north of Mexico. Now, there are three different main categories of mammals. Monotremes, which uh, lay eggs. Marsupials, which have pouches. And placental mammals, which give live birth. We're most familiar with placental mammals because they're the most dominant ones here in North America. However, if you were to go over to Australia, the most dominant mammal forms are those marsupials. Kangaroos, koalas, wombats, wallabies. These are all marsupials. The reason this happened is because many millions of years ago, all the continents were together one mass continent. Placental mammals and marsupial mammals both existed. However, when those continents split, the continent that eventually became Australia, the marsupials became the dominant mammalian form versus the continent that became North America, the placental mammals became the dominant life form. However, there were a few marsupials that survived and lived in South America. And so when South and North America became connected, one species made it from South America to North America, and now they are today known as the Virginia opossum. Fact number two, the Virginia opossum does not hibernate. So if you're here in Wisconsin like me, there is a possibility of seeing Virginia opossum all winter long. Now they're much more active in the spring and summer. It's much more likely that you'll see them during those months, but it is possible that you'll see them year round, such as a couple nights ago when I saw one here in my backyard. Fact number three, the Virginia opossum isn't very smart. They have a very tiny brain. They are marsupials, like I mentioned, and marsupials generally have smaller brains, so there's that. But they also don't show any sort of a social system, which tends to indicate more complex intellection. And they also have a very, very short lifespan, typically less than a year. Now, one way that scientists use to measure brain size is something called the encephalization quotient. And basically what this is, is it's looking at the proportion of the size of the brain to the body of the animal that it is in. Now, there's not a direct correlation to intelligence necessarily. It's only an indication of such. Um, but you can kind of get a sense when you look at these numbers. Humans have a, a stabilization quotient of 7.4 to 7.8, so pretty high. Bottle nose dolphins, very, very smart animals. They have a 5.3. Even dogs like Ruthie have a 1.2, although sometimes I wonder if she has a brain at all. The Virginia opossum, on the other hand, their encephalization quotient is 0.2. So again, very, very small proportion of brain size to the body of the animal. Fact number four, playing dead or playing possum, as a lot of people call it, is an involuntary defense mechanism. So if a Virginia opossum is threatened by a predator, the first thing they're going to do is what most animals do. They're going to run away if they can. If they can't do that, they're going to try and make themselves look threatening. They're going to hiss and try and scare it off. But if that also isn't going to work, then what they do is they do this thing that we know as playing dead. So they flop over, tongue falls out, eyes blaze over. They look completely dead. They seem completely dead. This is an involuntary reaction. They have no control over this. So it just happens when they go into this state of fear and panic. Most predators only want to eat live prey. So they see this seemingly dead animal and it deters them, they, they go away, they move on, and then eventually the Virginia opossum recovers and goes about its day. This is a really good defense mechanism for deterring animals that eat live prey. This is a really bad defense mechanism for deterring things like traffic, which is why we will often see a lot of dead Virginia opossums along the sides of busy roads. Again, they have no control over this reaction. So they see that car, their reaction is fear, panic, and then their body just automatically plays dead not a good situation when you're out on the road. Luckily for the Virginia opossum found in our backyard, Ruthie left it alone 
and we went back inside, came back out a couple hours later, and it was gone. So it was just plain dead. Ruthie had clearly scared it and thought she was a predator, so plain dead. And then eventually, once we left it alone, it recovered and moved on with its life. And fact number five, Virginia opossum moms carry their babies around on their back. Oh, I don't have anything else to say about this. I just think it's really stinking cute. So there you have it, our five facts about the Virginia opossum. If you see an opossum while you're out exploring and it appears to be dead, most likely it is just its involuntary reaction to seeing a scary predator like you. So leave it alone, let it recover on its own time, but take a quick minute just to appreciate how cool it is that these animals have developed such a unique defense mechanism. Until the next one, have a great time exploring. Bye.